Hey guys, I'm doing a video today. Um, the video is Hello Lionel Richie. So these are the numbers. Okay, let's get to it. The numbers is, um, so it's the date when he made it, 1984. And then it's also 101. And then it's 144. Then 108, 1199. Oh, 11 and 99, <laughs> 11 and 99 and 13 and, oh my God, how did I, how did I put this on here? I'm sorry. Hold on. I think this looks like 425. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I'm sorry. I'm like, what is this? All right, let's get to it. So, um, all right. So, oh, it's scared me. That was a book. Anyway, um, <laughs> if anyone watches my stuff, I'm like really scared of bugs, like really bad. Oh my god! And you see how like my hair is so uneven. Look at that. Anyway, let's not pay attention to that. But anyway, so let's get to it. So, Lionel Richie, hello. All right. I've been alone with you inside my mind, and in my dreams, I kiss your lips a thousand times. I sometimes see you pass outside my door. Hello, is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. I can see it in your smile. You're all I ever wanted, and my arms are open wide, because you know just what to say, and you know just what to do, and I want to tell you so much. I love you. I long to see the sun shine in your hair and tell you time and time again how much I care. Sometimes I feel my heart will overflow. Hello, I just got to let you know. Because I wonder where you are and I wonder what you do. Are you somewhere feeling lonely or is someone loving you? Tell me how to win your heart for I haven't got a clue. But let me start by saying I love you. Hello, is it me you're looking for? Because I wonder where you are and I wonder what you do. Are you somewhere feeling lonely or is someone loving you? Tell me how to win your heart for I haven't got a clue. But let me start by saying I love you. I love you. I love you. Is it me you're looking for? Hello, is it me you're looking for? Because I wonder where you are and I wonder what you do. Are you somewhere feeling lonely or is someone loving you? Tell me how to win your heart for I haven't got a clue. But I don't. But let me start by saying I love you. I love you. I love you. See, I'm a hairy person. I'm not even going to lie. Like, I'm not extremely hairy, but I got hair on my arms. I'm just sitting here like, what the heck? Anyway, um, <laughs> like this when? Okay. Hello, is it me you're looking for? Is it me? Is it me? Is it me? Is it me you're looking for? Is it me? Is it me? So, um, let's get to it already basically like you already know what's going on so basically god is saying for um kingdom spouses this is a kingdom spouse video god having on kingdom spouses a lot i'm like hey god i'm a kingdom spouse <laughs> no not even trying to be funny like i love the prodigals but you know this hit home because i'm a kingdom spouse so um yeah the prodigal words be hit, prodigal the prodigal words be hitting too i'm just saying yeah kingdom spouse you know um, yeah, your spouse is like, is it me that you want? <laughs> because it is so many reasons. It's so many reasons not to. It's a lot of people out here that are, um, fronting to be a certain person and your spouse is like, whoever that you are is highly appealing you know, um, like I said, with a lot of videos, they're watching you at jobs. They're hearing you. Some people, like I said, on other videos, they're hearing you in the Rams. Ooh, in the name of Jesus, they're hearing you in the Rams. And I'm also seeing right now, ooh, I rebuke this, in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing something right now. A lot of y'all is having a lot of blockage. You ask God for dreams and visions and Everything you can think of about your spouse, your future spouse that you have never met and the ones that you do, y'all have met, but y'all haven't actually talked 
y'all just look at each other across the room and he leaves to go out of the coffee shop or at the grocery store, the clothing store, or you leave or you go back home from work, wherever you are at the gym, whatever. God is saying is basically, um, you know, it's a lot of witchcraft. I saw a witch on a broom, a green witch. I don't know if you've been seeing that. I know it's about to be Halloween and everybody's seeing like, you know, but if, and if any of that really caught your eye, you need to pray against it. I'll say it like that. If that ever caught your eye, these conversations about witches and warlocks, if that ever caught, that ever seen in your mind, go to the Lord and be like, what the heck was that basically? Like, what should I do? Because why do I feel this so strongly? Like, what is going on? I'm just realizing that my hair is like all over the place. But anyway, just ask God, like, basically, like, what is going on? Like, why do I feel this that strongly? Like, is someone doing something to me and to my spouse, or is it both of us? All right, let's get to the 1984. So, yeah, they're, like, they're really worrying about you. Like, are you good? Like, are you sane? Is this process making you weary? Is this process being a burden to you? Because you're not a burden to me. I read a wait all day because I like watching you on social media. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's so funny to me. A lot of these guys or girls that's watching on social media act like you don't know or something. That they're doing that. And it's like, uh, we like whoever that is, like, you're like, yeah, I know. <laughs> like, I know that you're watching me. But anyways, <laughs> I remember this one girl I like to watch on TikTok. She was like, oh, he's watching me. And she was like, well... I hope you like, like, basically, like, I hope you like what you see. Like, I hope you like it. <laughs> and it's like, no, you gonna like it. Like, that's your whole husband. You gonna love it. <laughs> Not a like. It's gonna be love, love. Obsession of the beauty that God has made you to be. Whoever that that is that's watching you across the room at your job. I see a lot of office jobs right now. I see a woman, a woman with a black skirt on. Man, I see a table. I see computers. Anything that that could possibly be, they're like, yes, like that girl looking good in that skirt, that dude looking good in that suit. Okay, whatever that could be. It could be a factory job. It could be a nine to five job at McDonald's. It don't matter where it's at. They're watching you though. All right. So a lot of them love your, you know, your drive. You know, and then for the ones that don't know who they're spouting, they never seen them at a job or a place like that, or they're not watching them on social media. They still see you in dreams and visions as guys telling them stuff and they still think you're wonderful. All right. So well, let me look at this one for 1985. Okay. I'm getting also from this with 1985. Uh, if you go to church, your spouse is watching you at church. Yeah, if it's um um uh, y'all having like a church ministry meetings on Wednesdays or Tuesdays, um yeah, at church they're watching you. <laughs> yeah, they're watching you at church. Yeah. Whatever that that could be trips where the whole church go to a certain country, town, or city. When they go, that could be that as well, and they're watching you. They are watching you. They're watching how good you are with children. They're watching how good you are with people, how good you fellowship, how good you worship. They just love the way you worship, how passionate you are. They see all of that, how caring you are, how in love you are with the Lord, how you're in love with helping people. I just wanted to say that um, I'm seeing on 1985. Yeah, it says, keep an eye on his flock. God, and they said right here, properly an overseer, a man called by God to literally keep an eye on his flock, the church, the body of Christ to provide personal, personalized. Yeah, so guardian, overseer, overseers. So some of y'all probably going to have them actually um, approach you this month. I know it's literally a few days from here, but it could possibly happen be an email, a church email. They do on the side with you, you know, <laughs> uh, ask to do like a little Bible study or something. <laughs> but yeah, that could actually happen. I'm seeing as well. 
And it could be literally not for these people that's watching. It could literally be for people like a year or two from here that watches my video. Yes, I'm saying that as well. So, um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Ooh! I would love that. Wow. All right, so 101. Like, they're highly... like, And it's like, a, you know... It's fine having an infatuation with someone, but after you get the dating and the marriage and stuff, it's like, it's not a crush anymore that you should be having on me. I'm not this little cute crush. Then they, it's a booger in her nose and you're just done with me. Like I should have dry skin look like freaking like glue sticked on my skin is dried up and have a booger in my eye and everything one of these days and you still find me hot, <laughs> you know, cause that could happen. I know with me, like, I use tretinoin on my skin, right? And sometimes I wake up with dry patches because of the tret whenever I put it on. So I don't want my spouse to be like, Ugh. I don't want to be intimate with her ever. I don't want to be, you know, she's not hot no more. And then forget it. Now, I'm not going to always be like this Barbie doll to you all the time. And he's not going to always be this Ken doll. Like, you know, just stop tripping on me, right? So, <laughs> like, seriously. So, um, that's how I feel about it. It's a very superficial world. And this person sees you in the spirit and they just see how you move. They love your fruits. Okay. They love your fruits. Your nine fruits are standing out very, I, I'm seeing something like a big, huge, bright, just very bright. Um, uh, it's just very bright and it's huge and it just, you stand out. Okay. Now look. It also says right here with Revelation 10 1. So, like I said, 1 0 1. So, I'm doing 10 1 right now, right? So, it says the angel in the little scroll. So, it says right then I saw another um, mighty angel come down from heaven. He was robed in a cloud of rainbow above his head. His face was like the sun, and his legs were like fiery pillars. So, look, you've been seeing rainbows. I always talk about that rainbows on a card, rainbows on a box, rainbows on a shirt, rainbows. Don't see the LGBT QA plus stuff. Don't look at that. Look at the Lord. This was his to begin with. So look at that. You know, because we're all so quick to sell that's some gay stuff, you know, and it's just like that's some bi, lesbian, pants, trans stuff. No, look at where it came from in the beginning. It was God's covenant. So look at that. All right. God's covenant to his prophet and many more, basically, over time that he is going to do what he do. So stop looking at that please because you're going to stop your signs a lot of people are very homophobic and i understand what you know because god does not want us to have homosexuality in our spirit but to the point where you can't see the beauty of god because you're seeing a rainbow is the problem you know what i'm saying it's just like i get it a lot of us have you know still bisexual friends or family members that's still trying to you know uh, transition to the Lord or don't even know that they need this transition to the Lord. So you help them through the way, help them go to church, help them to realize that it's more than just the same sex. You know what I'm saying out here? Um, but I, you know, I understand the homophobic thing to a certain degree, but it's too like, it's to a degree. It's like, you're going to stop actually being able, like I said, to see God's glory when he show you something rainbow pastel rainbow colors you probably been seeing a lot of rainbow but you're like okay okay you know <laughs> and i don't know if that's the proper way to say it, the homophobic but it's just like you're very despised that sin and i you know and everybody that you know that's you know christian should not want to even think about that part even if you came out of it or you are just you know you just don't want that it's not you know a good sin a lot of sins are not good and it's just like, you know, even like we even talk about a lot of prophets talk about sex and it's like, ugh. you know, I understand that it's a sin to have sexual lustful thoughts. But a lot of people that are watching you or watching um, you at 
jobs and stuff or, or gym, whatever, they find you very attractive. Do lust probably come around? Yeah, but they are so in tune. A lot of them are so tuned with the Lord. Or you're a great um, intercessor that you pray for your spouse to not have that. And if she, it comes right back off of them. When the devil try to creep up on them, it comes right off. So what are we going to do? We're going to act as if our spouse is not for us because they got lust in their spirit. I mean, they're working on it. Like, and it's not like it's on every woman or man that's walking around is loving and wanting you. So we got to understand that too. We get very dis- like disgusted by um, the word sex, where we to look at it as the most nastiest thing, where we look at it in a lust spirit. Instead of like, when this is your spouse, of course, it's not good to have those strong things that you can control yourself. That's why God tells a lot of us in the Bible, he tells us, get married if it's that serious. But of course, you don't want to get married for sex either. So I understand that. But I'm just saying this is that it happens when you see their fruits, you know where it all really is. Like at the end of the day, they just want you. Of course, sex is on their mind here and there. But at the end of the day, I want you. Everybody's a work in progress. But like I said, I'll be showing you so you need to see. He gives you dreams and visions. You know, I just wanted to say that not to make people feel like, dang, she called me this, she called me that. It's just, man, like, if I looked at things the way I used to look at it, I would never be able to get the chance to actually get the glory of the Lord showing me the glory of the Lord. Actually get what he's trying to show me. I would never be able to. Because I'm just so disgusted by lust and homos and stuff. <laughs> you know, I will never be able to look at anything. Just wanted to say that. Not to be funny, I'm just telling the truth. So, <laughs> um, John 10, 1. True, true, I say to you, he does not enter the sheepfold by the door, but climbs in by another way. That man is a thief and a robber, like I said again. Witches and warlocks are trying to be thieves and they're trying to be robbers. Guys want me to talk about that just reminds me now. Go into my community post um after this video. Um at least like yeah, yeah. Go on there and I'm gonna talk about it basically about that. Um and how God did it. <laughs> it was funny. Cause I'm sometimes just be doing me like do, 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 today I'm gonna go do this today. Like do your video, do your community post. <laughs> you know, guys like get it together. Like, hello. But, um, yeah, I just be like living life. I'm like, (laughs) but yeah. So, um, basically, yeah, like they're going to get caught up in what they're doing to you. So if you feel like a lot of your dreams are getting robbed, you can't dream anymore. If you feel like when you do dream, you can't interpret it, understand it. If you feel like you don't feel the connection of your spouse anymore, whatever that that could possibly be, God is saying this like, it's witchcraft going on, but I'm seeing it. You know, they're over here counting spells on how many ways to play with you in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a calculator right now. He's like, all right, you're counting that. Every time you judge them and every time you talk about them to people, I'm watching every bit of it. I'm like, yep, yep. Yep. Yeah. Keep playing with me. Basically, God's like, keep on. You try to count them. I'm, I'm calculating too, basically, like in his own way. God don't really count our sins like that, like that. But when it comes to these witches and warlocks, like it's, he don't like a thief. So I'm seeing a calculator right now. He just like watching like, yep, keep on, you know, get to that last point with me. So anyways, um, Cause grace, they act like people act like grace is just like whipty whipty whip, like it's just gonna be forever until the day you die. And it's just like you keep doing like really crazy stuff. It's like, dude, you know. Um. So yes. Um. I also been seeing twelve a lot, which I'm seeing right now. So I'm just gonna say it. Um. I'm scared to say it. I'm just like, can I say this? Um. Don't I get scared? Like I'm just like, okay. So the 12 apostles, and he called to him his 12 disciples and gave him authority over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal every disease and every affliction. So a lot of y'all, when y'all get married, y'all going to be really helping out people. 
um, in the world, you know, um, with the love that you have. A lot of people didn't went through what you went through or they did and they don't know what to do. And you're going to be helping them. I know you've been having dreams about that, touching hands and healing people with the words that God speaks through you. I know you've been having dreams about that. And I know you've been uh, holding, seeing yourself holding the hand of your spouse while you're doing that, man or woman that's watching this. In the name of Jesus, Jehovah Jireh. I know you've been seeing that. Okay? I know you've been seeing videos and doing stuff like that and helping out people. I know you've been seeing that. So just wanted to say that in the name of Jesus. Okay? I know that you've been seeing stuff where you touch people at you in a freaking 7-Eleven store. If you've been seeing 7-Eleven, if you've just been touching the hand of someone there, it don't matter touching the hand and helping them. If they're listening or not, sooner or later, God's going to work through them. I know you've been seeing that in the spirit. All right, that's your confirmation. Just want to say this. Just want to say that. Okay, so let's get it. So one, zero one now in the Bible. Just wanted to say that. It says right here. Um. John, it says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with him, and the word was God. He was with God in the beginning through him. All things were made. Without him, nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and the life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. So what's going on right now, you've been seeing yourself getting acne out of nowhere, probably losing a little bit of hair. That could be a lot. You feel like you're, um, you know, your look's been getting tampered with. Because of the witchcraft, especially if you're the one that knows it. God is watching your cries. God is watching that your finances are failing. God is watching that your body seems like it's failing. Your friendships, your family, how all these spirits have been rushed to you that's from the devil because of this witchcraft, because of this jealous co-worker, because of this jealous friend or family member. People that you cut off 10, 5 years ago that finds out that's what's going on. You're like, they never really messed with Lord in the first place. They've been witches and warlock for a while. Anyway. So, yes. Also, some of y'all have been dealing with your other spouses, uh, your spouse's ex doing stuff to them, which is doing stuff to you. <laughs> so, God is seeing all of this stuff. He's not playing. I'm seeing right now, um, ooh, a lot of people, I'm just going to be truly honest, a lot of people are going to be having that graveyard sentence, truth be told. It's not going to be the sentence of prison. It's going to be a graveyard sentence. I'm seeing a graveyard, something wooden as well. So, it's just like basically anything. These people be burning bridges with everybody, a lot of these witches and warlocks. So they're going to have that graveyard sentence, a lot of them. And nobody's going to put them in a box. Uh, I mean, put them in a nice castle. It's just going to be a wooden box or a freaking um, cremation and call it a day. Okay, so Genesis um, um, 101. In the beginning, God created the heaven and earth. So God created the earth, right? Heaven and earth, right? And he created you two to be together. It's destined. It's just destined to be. I would never look at that and say, oh, my God, the odd is just, you know, it's not going to work, God. No, it's going to work. All right. 14.4, it says right here, it is no accident. It is John. It says it is no accident that Jesus indicates the disciples know the way to their dis destination rather than the destination itself. So let me just get a little bit more into this with John. And I'm going to look at Hosea. All right. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you are going. So how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me in the name of Jesus. So you rebuke those demons that are attacking you and your spouse and your family lineage and you're trying to attack everything, trying to make you barren. You've been having dreams about miscarriages a lot, uh, dreams about stillborns, uh, Dudes about just having fertility problems, bleeding, and all of this stuff. Guys, like, uh, -uh. no, you better rebuke that in the name of Jesus. It also says right here with Hosea. Let's get to Hosea. All right, it says with Hosea. It says, "I will heal their back backsliding. I will love them freely, for my anger is turned away from him. I will be as the dew into Israel. He shall grow as the lily." And cast forth his roots as Lebanon. Lebanon, L E B A N O N. His branches shall spread, and his beauty shall be as the olive tree, and his smell as Lebanon or Lebanon. Um, 
I was talking about olives today, which is really crazy. Um, and I've also been talking about lilies. Um, lilies are too, I think those are too low. Anyway, I'm talking about flowers a lot. So you've been seeing lilies or olives. That's what God is saying. All right. That's a clear indication. 144 in the Bible. So I did first at 14.4 and now I'm doing 144. So it says right here, 144. And to him, see that you say nothing to anyone but go. Show yourself to the priest and offer for your cleansing that Moses commanded for a, um, a proof to them. And... So, yeah, it says right here with Mark, so Jesus heals a man of leprosy, then commands the man to stay quiet about the healing until he can go to the priest and finish the ceremonial laws. Jesus never broke the Mosaic, M-O-S-A-I-C law, although he had no problem ignoring the addendums, addendums, A-D-D-E-N-D-U-M-S, Jewish scholars had added. So what basically what God is saying, when God blesses you, whoo, quiet. Stop opening your mouth. Okay? Stop opening your mouth. A lot of times we get so excited. We've been waiting and praying for uh, something to be basically uh, bestowed upon us. And then when we finally get it, uh, we usually don't know how to, um, you know, stop pouring the water from our mouths. So God is saying, basically, stop speaking on uh, that tremendously whenever you get something. Um, a lot of times when you get a blessing too, God is trying to make sure that you maintain it. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> but anyway, he's trying to make sure that the air just <gasps> got on me. Anyway, so yeah, just make sure that that's what's going on. So um, that you just let God and y'all both just protect, protect the baby, like the promise, protect the promise. Okay. That's what he's saying. So one zero eight in the Bible. And then I'm going to go over and look at it in Strong's. Okay. So the numbers that I have, I'm just trying to get these done. All right. Because every time I do this, I just never get nothing done. I'm just like, you know what? Okay, so it says right here. And uh, it says Mark 10, 8. And the two will become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. So y'all are one. Even a lot of y'all are feeling like this. How can I explain? Um, you're feeling this desperate feeling. Even though your faith is so strong, you're feeling like as if that your spouse is not feeling the same way. That's how you're feeling. And God is basically saying that that's not the case here. He is, um, you know, um, a lot of times um, things might happen, but it's like, it's not as if it's going to last forever. And I'm not saying that your spouse is not feeling you feeling a dreadfulness. You're feeling a disconnect. You're feeling like they're about to just give up on it. You feel like they're possibly talking to someone, texting someone, going back on social media, like dating apps, Facebook. You used to do Facebook dating. I'm seeing a lot of people. You used to do Facebook dating. Um, oh, a lot of sites. Uh, Meet me. Uh, uh, tag. Uh, Bumble. Uh, black people meet. All these type of things. And that used to be like your world, basically. Um, Black Planet, people from like, uh, I'm seeing that as well, Christian Mingle. Um, yeah, yeah. And don't get me wrong, a lot of people met their spouses off there, but some people, he's telling, uh uh, uh uh. And if God does assign you to get on there for a reason, then you get on there, but I'm seeing that y'all just need to leave that stuff alone. And also seeing that you believe your spouse is doing. I'm not saying that they're not, and if you do feel that way, um, you need to start praying. All right, now listen. And be serious about it because, look, God will do that. He will stop them from feeling like, you know, that that is, that is the actual route I need to go to. Ask that hindering spirit that's trying to make them have anxiety and loneliness You know, have ask God to make sure that they connect with um your spouse connects with God. 
instead of connecting with the world and things around there. All right, so I don't know. In the Bible. So we got one one in the Bible says, In the beginning, God created heaven and earth. And the earth was without form and void. The darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And that's Genesis 1 1. That's what God is saying. He is moving, He is going. So let him go, let him do, because God is going to finish it off. It's a battle that's going on in the spirit right now. A lot of people are about to get to this point, and, you know, the devil does not like that. He just don't, and you know that, you know. All right, so look, it also says right here with um, uh, Romans 9.9, 9, it says, and this is what the promise said about this time next year, I will return and Sarah shall have a son. Okay, as I said again, y'all shall have y'all baby the promise um, very soon. It also says right here, Ecclesiastes 9 9, enjoy the life of your wife, whom you love, all the days of the meaningful, uh, meaningfulness life that God has given you under the sun. All your meaningful days, meaning, meaning, meaningless days. Uh, hold on, let me say this again. Ecclesiastes 9, 9, enjoy life with your wife whom you love all the days of this meaningless life that God has given you under the sun. All your meaningless days, for this is your lot in life and in your toilsome labor under the sun. So enjoy when you get this person. Don't think that they're going to leave because it took forever to get them. Don't think about that you're not pretty enough, your stretch marks that you got. I'm seeing something about stretch marks in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing something about moles on the face. Um, I'm also seeing receiving hairline or just have a bald spot. Um, I'm also seeing cricket teeth. Um, what else am I seeing? Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. So just don't be tripping on that, basically. A chip tooth. All that kind of stuff. They ain't worrying about that. Anyway, so 13, they're just not. It's a, the devil has the nerve to try to make people feel ugly. Condemnation about things that they look like. And he's the most ugliest thing in the world. Anyway, bye. Okay, what? We are gosh, and We are pretty handsome. All that. Okay, listen. So it says... Peter 13, it says, praise be to God and the father of our Lord Jesus Christ and his great mercy. He has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. So look at it like that. Basically, you know, you are new. I don't care what was said. You know, them bullies that talked about how big you were or how skinny you were or how tall and skinny you were. How much acne you had on your face, how thin your hair was, how short it was, how big your nose was. I don't care about those evil sisters that like, and I don't know if y'all been seeing Cinderella, but all them evil sisters that you have, stepsisters, a lot of y'all have stepsisters that were just so darn mean. I don't give a crap what they say to you. You can have stepbrothers that were really mean. I try to get you in trouble every five minutes. Uh... Try to do everything. Try to take everything that you have. I've seen stuff about stepsisters, stepbrothers. No, 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 no. Who cares? Anyways, listen. So Luke 13, it also says, with this in mind, since I have myself, um, since I myself have carefully investigated everything from the beginning, I too decide to write an orderly account for you. Most excellent deal, Pullis. Hold on, let me say this right. I'm tired of saying these words. I'm not saying it right. This, this, this is this is this is this is not good for me. Making me mad. I'm gonna say this right. <laughs> so let's get to it. Hold on. Diophilus. Okay. So it says right there. It says. All right. So I'm just like, what the heck, you know? All right. So yeah. 
So yeah, with um, Luke 13, with this in mind, since I have myself, since I myself have carefully investigated everything from the beginning, I too decide to write an orderly account for you, most excellent Diophilus. Okay, and then that means for 13 Luke, it says, I'm just going to go back real quick, but anyway, it says Luke, it says Luke assertion that he had perfect understanding of all things from the uh, very first. It says, does not mean that he was an eyewitness of the Savior, but it reflects his diligence in comprehending, in cooperating, in cooperating the testimonies of eyewitnesses into his work. So, yes. The awareness, all of that, that comes in together. So that's basically what God is saying. Use the discernment and the wisdom God has gave to you. Don't let the devil make you think that whatever God is showing you, whatever he's trying to tell you to prepare. A lot of y'all ladies... Um, maybe your spouse likes purple makeup. Maybe your spouse likes gold makeup. Maybe they want you to do something like a gold eyeshadow. Um, maybe their favorite color is yellow. Maybe it is purple. Maybe it is an orange, like a rusty orange. You know, wear that. If God's telling you to wear a certain outfit for a day, who to say? Maybe God is about to have you... Um, meet them that day or they want to meet up and go somewhere, especially if y'all already know each other at a job or at church or whatever that is. And you go to church, they wear an orange dress. Like, you know what I'm saying? And same for the men, like wear something nice, wear red or wear, you know what I'm saying? Purple too. It could be purple, you know. It'd be whatever, you know, or blue, whatever that could possibly be. I'm also seeing right now somebody in the church um, they like to wear um suits that's usually um a navy blue or a like a kind of um kind of light blue, kind of yeah. I'm also seeing that right now, and I'm seeing that is a brown skin and melanated man. All right, so anyways, Proverbs four twenty five twenty seven. Let thine eyes look right on, and let thine eyelids look straight before thee. Ponder the path. Of thy feet, and let all thy ways be established. Turn not to the right hand, nor to the left. Remove thy foot from evil. So keep yourself aligned. Even when it's moments where you might fall back into sin, keep yourself with that fasting and that petitions, and keep yourself, like I said, petitions. Put your name up there. Do, 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 do. Put how you're feeling, what you need, what you ask for. Connect with the with connect with God. I, oh God, how's thing going? What should I do? Then put it in your freaking uh, zip my bag. Put it somewhere. And there it is. All right. It says right here, Ephesians four twenty five. Therefore, having put away falsehood, let each of you speak the truth with his neighbor, for we are members of one another. God is saying a lot of y'all are scared of the gospel. Because people don't talk about God anymore without having a joke behind it, without being annoyed by it. So God is basically saying, like, if something comes up and I'm giving you that urgency, like, go talk. Go talk to that person. Go call up that friend. Go call. I've seen that in the spirit. A lot of y'all are in mission and not even realizing it to help people. If you feel a rumble in the spirit to tell somebody about God, go ahead. Of course, don't be so like... God, you know what I'm saying? But be like God, you know. Do, 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 do. Be meek. The Lord is meek. Have authority, you know, but don't be just like, yeah, yeah, you know, you know, it's just like, you know, so just wanted to say that is <laughs> that as well. All right, so 425 in the Bible, and that says, praising God for his faithfulness. And that is Psalms 425. And also he says, Isaiah 42, 5, he will not falter or be discouraged till he established justice on earth. So God is basically saying this is that um, with that, he is going to get things done. That's just it. He's going to get things done. God brings life to every living being on every corner of the earth. 
that no one stands outside of God's care and concern. God is going to sit here and give that blessing that you've been asking for. Ain't nobody, ain't no favoritism with this. Ain't none of that. I've also been seeing the word Kimberly and it means Fortis Royal. So I don't want someone named Kimberly on here or not, or you, your spouse's name, Kimberly, or you got a friend. I don't know. You know, um, Royal Fortis is a great multitude magnitude, actually not multitude magnitude. And then mag, um, magnitude, it says right here what magnitude it is. The great size or extent of something. Um, it says size, so it's a really great. Uh, a lot of y'all women are, you know, a lot of y'all women have a great purpose, which causes, which, ha which has alignment with royalty. So 11 Strongs, it says right here, 11 Strongs, it says destruction and ruin. A lot, of, like I said, a lot of ruin is going to be onto these, um, which is in Warlocks. It's also say sad. They will be sad and you might even be sad because you just wish they would never decide to go to that point. A lot of times, you know, prophets, we don't want to talk about stuff like this because we just done with it. Like, bye. Okay. And still talking about that with 13 strongs, the same destruction. 425 strongs, it says a loosening and relaxation. I'm not going to lie. Some of y'all, after this stuff happens, you're going to feel the difference. You're going to feel the difference. You're going to feel yourself be able to dream easily without feeling um, having a strong sense of that something is taken away from you or trying to trying to try your best to, and the hardest to remember what you were dreaming of or what you vision of. A lot of that witchcraft is very strong. They can even get into your visions and astral project in there. And it also says right here, it says to, um, not to have strength, to be weak, always so a person's, oh yeah, so to be unable. A lot of y'all be very tired. Y'all fall to sleep. And it just, you don't remember, or y'all only sleep for a few hours. You're not even able to dream, really, because you're so tired of taking like these fast naps. It says 101 bowl and basin. It says vessel in which clothes are washed. Okay. The washing of y'all. Y'all going to get clean, cleansed. Y'all been seeing anything or hearing things about showers. I just wanted to say that. A shower, a cleansing shower. If you've been even desiring, maybe you're more a bath person, but all of a sudden you want showers. I'm seeing something about eucalyptus. Um, it's going to be like a peppermint tea freshness of you, you know, in a minute. So um, if you've been seeing eucalyptus, if you have a eucalyptus something in your house, and then with eucalyptus, I've been seeing that as well. All right, so 144 Strongs, it says uh, judgment. Uh, no. Yes. Yes. This is it. I'm sorry. Hold on. Oh, it says perception, understanding, and discernment. If you have not known what is going on, you will know. Oh, it, is, it does say judgment. So judgment is going to be on these people. It's judgment time. Period. It just is. A lot of us, like I said, we don't care to be talking about it, but it is what it is. It also says right here, missed. 108 strong. It says be strong, that which affords protection and shade. Yes, shade. You know, if big trees been attracting you lately, under that tree is a huge shade, clearly, right? So if that's been attractive to you, understand that much. You are going to have a lot of protection over you. A shade, God's shade, Jesus, the Lord, our Savior, protection. All right. So God bless you all. I hope this video is very informative. I know it's long, but um, God just wanted me to talk on some things. So, yes, after this video is posted, because I'm posting a lot of videos, I'm just going to be like, I'm just going to be posting. So I'm on that. Yes, I am. Um, Just looking at everything else and some more stuff. So anyway, God bless you all. Like I said, your spouse is... Literally watch you at school, if that's at school, you, you, if you're a teacher, a preschooler, whatever that that is, preschool teacher, that spouse is watching you at school, 
Uh, they see your talents, whatever it is. Like I said, they're just very uh, mesmerized by you. And you could even be mesmerized by them, but you're not sure if that is your king of spouse. And, um, and that could, and a lot, I just feel in the spirit too, a lot of y'all could be king of spouses with a certain person, right? Y'all could already be talking to each other, but he never yet asked you out. Um, it could be a lot of that happening as well. Yeah. He haven't yet just asked you out. You could, you think that it's possibly more likely is y'all be flirting with each other, but you're not sure if it's a counterfeit or a, a, an actual king of spouse. And it could possibly more likely be that God is saying so um, to me, through uh, to y'all. So, yeah, some of y'all might be flirting with a certain somebody somewhere and you're not sure if that is your spouse. Um and you feel like you might be wasting your time because they haven't um, really, you know, asked you out. Um, a lot of them trying to figure out, are you really into me? Do you really want me? Is there anybody else on the side? You look like a person that's probably, you know, like to have, like, not saying that you're like a promiscuous person, but you look like a very carefree person. So like you're very a busy person. You might not have time for anything serious, but um, they're about to make that chance and, ask you very soon could be end of this month or the first week of all october okay and like i said on other videos you've been seeing leaves anything about you know fall stuff yes so um yeah 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 you could be an art teacher i don't know <laughs> they could be art teacher i don't know see y'all later goodbye